Hey guys, what's going on? What is going on with you? And so I am currently in my spirit room. I am about to wipe down all the dust off my altar. I'm going to then cleanse it. And then I'm going to create for this particular altar in my spirit room. This is going to be a prosperity altar to bring in money, abundance, um, that long coin business sales that type of thing so i'm going to erect this altar for for you um this one here is just for prosperity abundance i'm going to be using a lot of items to bring in that type of energy into on this altar okay so here we go we're going to start with me i use time power any type of whatever you like to use and this is just wiping all the um the dust off, getting it smelling good, the way I like it, that's all. So I'm gonna wipe this down completely. I love the smell of palm power. And this is a wooden altar. It has shelves. And now that I have it wiped down, and I'm gonna do this later too, cause I'm cleansing for Beltane. This is a window seal in front of me. I'm gonna get that off camera. So we're gonna start with my altar. I have that done. Next, I'm gonna cleanse my altar with um, some Florida water. Let me grab that right quick. There's a couple of different kinds of Florida water. And this, I'm just going to use the plain one. You know, the one that, um, the regular Florida water. I actually place it on my hands. And I cleanse it. And thinking abundance, prosperity in my mind. dry in a lot of people use oils on their altar i do but i use it inside of my candle because i don't i want to protect the wood on my altar okay so i don't do that but now it's dry I'll turn the camera a little bit now on this particular one i'm gonna use a gold altar cloth i usually go a little bigger than this but because i want to bring in prosperity and abundance and use this vibrant color in gold or green, anything of that nature. That's why I'm using this, okay? So, I'm gonna place this in the middle. The last cloth I used was, um, I don't particularly, some people say use white, and you can, you you particularly can, but sometimes I don't because white gets dirty real quick. And I update my altar, but I do put water and all of that on my altar. I just don't like when it looks dirty and filthy and white gets that way. It's the intention. So the last one I had on there, it was, oh, it's over there. It was a black celestial altar cloth so this one here again i'm going to be using this one for the gold to bring in abundance and then also the symbol of um the path is on here the pinnacle and the moon all right i have a chime bell you hear that chime bell is for frequency i love these I always place these on my altar. I'll probably move it by the time I'm finished, but a, a chime bell is great to use. I do have a dagger. This is my personal one that goes only on my altar and I only use it in spell work. I got this one off of Amazon, actually. This is it. This is my own dagger. And it is very sharp. And I only use it for spell work. 
So this goes on my altar as well. So I'm just going to lay them here to let you see to save on time. So of course you're going to place money on your altar, right? Yes. So actual bills. So these bills are bills from sales of my business, bills from other countries, just $2 bills, double your money, um, this type of thing. So I'm going to place all these bills on my altar as well. So cash is great for a prosperity altar. Also a gold note. I sell these on my site, visionsbyvasori.com. This is great to put on your altar for prosperity and abundance as well. And these are other things that I have to, I always put on my altars regardless of which altar I am erecting. I always have this. This is an ivory tusk. Sort of like knife like I always have this on my altar this is a wand I sell these on my side some keys these are old antique keys to open the doors to the money I'm gonna place that on my altar this is a golden Egyptian whole temp, I think it is. Also, I have a golden plate, and this will go where my uh, candle will go, and it's gold. You see that? Representing abundance. I'm going to place that in the middle here. And also, I'm going to add some stones to my particular, this altar. I'm going to add a piece of citrine. And I'll put these all in one bowl. Pyrite gold, fool's gold. Put this on my altar. This is green quartz. Green, the intent. This is a green wishing bean. I sell these on my site for uh, prosperity, money, abundance. I'm going to place that in the bowl. Aquamarine green everything green or any stone i don't particularly remember what this stone was called but i'm gonna place it on my altar because it is green to represent that and of course you cannot forget green aventurine never forget that so i'm gonna place that on there too so i'm gonna place all of my stones of abundance on here on this plate okay so, I'm going to put them all on here. I'm going to place them right here for the time being. All right, I'm going to add more stone. And I'm going to add a piece of uh, clear quartz on the stones in the pile to magnify the stones, okay? Boop. This is a sigil I'm going to place on here. And it is, if you can see it, it is round, no closure. So this represents ongoing money. I'm going to place this on my altar as well. All right, guys, you're going to do a chalice of water. Guys, always, always, if you never put anything on your altar, always put a glass or chalice of water on your altar. Water represents life. You wouldn't be uh, living if you did not have water. Water is life. Always, always, always place a cup of water on your altar. I have my selenite wand. Also a wand that I found outside. So I'm going to place this. I have had this for like a year or so. So I'm going to place this on my altar as well. I also have brass tokens. So I'll just place these on my altar. I think I got them off of Amazon. I placed it on top of my money. I have my gold bracelets. I also put my copper bracelets on my altar, green aventurine. So I charge my bracelets on my altar. I'll place them on there too. You're gonna get two candle holders if you want to have candle holders on your altar. I'm going to also burn a seven-day candle on my 